I picked up the iTrek 9 ultralight uh, here a couple days ago and I'm going to tell you a little bit about what comes uh, with it and also my initial thoughts after having gone out on it uh, twice now. It comes uh, in this soft case. All of the boat fits in that bag. When you get the product uh, and take it out of the bag, you will find the boat itself, an aluminum seat, the kick-up fin uh, Mirage Drive, the rudder, a carbon fiber adjustable paddleboard paddle, uh, an electric uh, low pressure air pump, a cup holder, uh, the manual and some other documentation, and um, a high pressure manual air pump as well as a repair kit. Just the hole, as seen here, weighs 20.6 pounds. The difference in weight between myself and myself with everything that's shown here was 37.6 pounds. From tail to nose, boat is 112 to 113 inches that is nine feet four nine feet five inches at what appears to me to be the widest point this boat is every bit of 40 inches wide now I'm going to inflate the product uh, as described in the manual using first the low pressure electric pump and then f uh, finally topping it off to 10 PSI with the higher pressure manual pump and we'll time that entire process. Apparently I won't be uh, inflating this with the manufacturer provided electric pump or timing it uh, using that pump uh, insofar as I've just discovered that uh, the one I received is non-functional. But I will show you uh, using this alternative electric pump. First person view of putting the boat together um, with one hand, which I'm not sure I would actually advise if you can help it. I'm not going to put this in right now. <clears throat> it's on the ground. And
put the drive in. Putting the rudder down. So this thing is super agile. I mean, you could probably tip yourself off of it, you know, like a jet ski or something if you wanted. Let's give it a shot here. Let's get going. All right, here we go. I mean, it's sort of fun and cool. And it moves. I haven't got it adjusted the way I want it yet. But it, it, it goes way faster than I can paddle, or at least sustained paddle. So this is almost certainly ill-advised, but I do think it's important to show how rigid uh, this paddleboard is. So, ugh. here's me standing on it without really any difficulty, suspended between the edges of my truck with nothing underneath it except for air. Now let's uh, evaluate the impact of uh, inserting the fins and uh, deploying the rudder. Now, I've only taken this boat out twice for maybe a total of five hours, uh, but I can give some initial preliminary thoughts uh, here all the same. Importantly, I enjoy fishing exceptionally thin waters, almost exclusively creeks, occasionally rivers. I purchased this particular boat in hopes that it would provide a platform that was short, extremely lightweight, uh, and easy to manage, draft as little water as possible, and then finally allow me to stand while fishing. So what I've discovered so far is it is in fact very, very light. It's, it's surprisingly light. Its weight almost feels unnatural relative to its size. It's super easy to pull in and out of the back of my truck and easy to uh, maneuver through the forest uh, to a creek uh, without question. Realistically, it probably drafts two and a half, maybe three inches, although we'll come back to that. Finally, I've found it to be perfectly stable for my needs. I can stand up without difficulty, sit down without difficulty, uh, catch fish and land fish while standing, and in fact, I've even uh, traversed some uh, class one rapids while standing up uh, without uh, any concern whatsoever. I've discovered that I really appreciate the Mirage Drive uh, insofar as it allows me to fish two-handed, which uh, previously haven't been able to do. I've also noticed that on a 37-pound boat, that Mirage Drive really moves this uh, boat quick. And with the rudder, um, down, this boat uh, tracks like a dream and turns scary fast. Before we discuss the cons uh, here too much, uh, I wanted to mention uh, three things. First, many of what I'm going to describe as cons are really probably 
better described as the price that I have to pay uh, to achieve the desirable pros that we just discussed. Second, this is a kayak and a stand-up paddleboard and some of what we will describe as cons are likely the limitations of one product trying to do two things. And then finally, uh, and probably most importantly, I suspect that what I'm trying to do with this uh, boat it falls outside the scope of what it was originally intended to do. So, uh, as I mentioned previously, this boat drafts two to three inches of water realistically with the rudder up. If you want the rudder down, it's going to draft nine to ten inches realistically. Again, one of my reasons for getting an inflatable boat uh, was to draft as little water as possible uh, because I fish almost exclusively creeks. An obvious solution would be to uh, keep the rudder up in skinny water. However, this boat has no skag and while it tracks like a dream with the rudder down, it does not track at all with the rudder up. On the same topic of maneuverability, while uh, you can fish two-handed while sitting down, you cannot both steer and fish while standing up. That is to say, I have only been able to either fish or paddle slash steer uh, while standing. I'd love to hear what solutions uh, others have devised to this problem as I know many people fish off of paddle boards. Also on the topic of maneuverability, this boat comes with a standard Mirage drive. That is, no Mirage 180, no Mirage 360. So I've noted a few videos where it has been suggested that this boat may not need a more advanced drive because it turns on a dime. However, turning is not the same as reversing, and boats don't have brakes. I believe my paddle replacement device, in this case the Mirage Drive, needs to be able to do all the things that a paddle can do, and more directly, this boat needs a 180 drive. On a completely different note, this is a 40 inch wide boat. Presumably it was designed to that width to create a stable platform despite its nine foot length. All this width and stability is wasted, however, with a seat that sits seven to nine inches off the deck. This platform is plenty stable for a taller seat, which would allow for improved perspective while fishing from a seated position and facilitate uh, standing and sitting for those who wish to fish from a standing position. I suspect the Mirage Drive could be, could be adequately adjusted to allow for comfortable and effective uh, pedaling even from a higher position. Finally, and really not that importantly, I would prefer if the boat had come with a single higher quality, high pressure electric uh, air pump. Please let me know if you uh, have any solutions to any of the issues that I described uh, previously. Also let me know if you have any questions that I could answer uh, for prospective buyers. And thank you for watching.